I had a request to do one of my coasters that had a mermaid tail in it. And um, I don't have that one to show you because I actually sold it. But I'm going to do one with a mermaid tail and one with an anchor like this. So in the first part of the video, I'm going to do the molds. And um, this is the stick that I showed you in the last video that I sell in my shop. And I just wanted to show you how the resin just peels right off. And you can reuse it. And I'm actually sold out of these right now. And I have more coming. They should be here by the end of the week. But the hurricane kind of slowed down shipping. Um, so I'm going to be using um, from my mica store. Islandsmicasandmore.com. I'm going to be using Ocean for the anchor. And for the mermaid, I'm going to use mermaid scales. Which is an interference color. Which means that if you put it on a light color, it's going to look like a pearl white with a green this is interference green pearl so it'll look like a pearl white but in the light it shimmers green if you put it over a dark color it's going to give you a vibrant pearl green color so what i'm actually going to do and i'm also going to be using treasure so what i'm actually going to do is the first thing i want to do is get a paintbrush and just get a tiny bit of this mermaid scales and I'm gonna brush it in to this mermaid mold and you don't want a lot and you want to make sure that it's brushed in very well or else it's going to leave a residue in the front. So you want to brush it in very well. Make sure it's all covered. You see it in there, the shimmer? Okay. So I didn't mix my resin yet. And I wanted to show you also, this is a shower curtain from the dollar store. In the last video I made Cosmic Bling coasters and I could just peel this right off. People actually make jewelry with this. I haven't tried it yet. And this one didn't turn out that pretty. But there you go, clean surface. So I just mixed up um, these are one ounce each, so that's two ounces. I split it in half, so that's about an ounce of resin. It's probably way too much. And I'm just gonna mix it up real quick. I'm gonna put gold behind the green on the mermaid. I don't know how that's gonna look, but we're going to see. And everything I use is going to be in the description box, a link to it. I get this from the Resin Queen, the anchor, and then the mold on Amazon for the mermaid tail, the mermaid tail mold. I probably should have stirred this resin up before I started the tutorial. I. In my last tutorial on the Cosmic Bling coasters, I actually sat here and mixed resin with you guys so you can see for the beginners how to do it. So again, I'm using Mermaid Scales, which is an interference green, pearl green. I'm using Ocean and Treasure from islandmicasandmore.com. And I'm just mixing up my resin, guys. I'm starting to second guess my color choices. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to do, right? Artists drive ourselves crazy. 
kind of looking through the micas. This is a green anchor and it looks really pretty and shimmery. Um, I want the water to be blue. So maybe I'm gonna switch the anchor color up. Let's do um, a rose gold. Maybe. This is Goliath grouper. I feel like that's a little bit too dark. How about clownfish? I think it'll pop behind the blue and give it a rusty look maybe. I'm gonna go with orange. Clownfish. So I'm still mixing my resin. Gonna get a little bit of this ready. I'm actually gonna do something fun. I'm being a crazy person right now. I'm gonna mix a little bit of hibiscus red with the clownfish, a little bit of orange and red, and try to get like a little rusty color for my anchor because if an anchor was underwater it would be a little rusty so I'm going to stop that you only need a little bit of this because I'm not even mixing a lot of resin up probably way too much, but I'll save it for the next project. So I'm making my own color here. I used clownfish and hibiscus red. I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush. Just made more a reddish orange color. Still pretty. All right, finish mixing my resin. So this is the easy part. We're just gonna make the molds. And then tomorrow I will come back and unmold them. And we're only doing two right now, but we will use this and some seashells and a little bit of glitter. Okay. Keep it. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit in for this treasure. Woo! And like I said, I'm experimenting. I'm doing gold over green. I've done gold for this mermaid tail before and it's just beautiful. So let's see what it looks like with a green shimmer in the background, in the front. <laughs> Can't talk today. And I don't like to, um, when I'm making this coaster, I don't like to make my mold too thick. I try not to fill it up to the top because this coaster already takes three ounces of resin. And if that mold, that tail or that anchor is too big, I got to add more and it gets crazy. So I have these little rags that I get from the Home Depot and I'm just gonna wipe this off and mix 
this for my little orangey red color. It's pretty. I think it's gonna look pretty with the blue, with the blue ocean background. That orange is going to pop. And I'm just gonna fill my anchor up. So, like I was saying, I sell my little hands at islandmicasandmore.com. They're awesome. Saves you popsicle sticks, but I am sold out right now. And I'm gonna get them by the end of the week or by the latest, the beginning of next week. And I'm not gonna fill this all the way to the top. I want it to be thin. And I can't tell you I like how much, you see I just eyeballed the resin. I mixed up about an ounce. And as you can see, I have a lot left over. So what I'll do with that is make some other molds because I like to give them away, keychains and stuff like that. To my people that order cups or order mica powders. And then I could just literally set this stick down onto my plastic shower curtain from the dollar store and I'll be able to pull that resin right off when it's dry. So that's the first part of the video. Um, I do see a tiny bit of bubbles that have come up because I was whipping the heck out of it because I was in a hurry. So this is a cheap mold from Amazon. You're not supposed to torch molds because you see how I'm gonna do it from far away. You're not supposed to torch molds because it makes a chemical reaction, it gets too hot, it burns the mold, it ruins them. Now, however, this cheap mold from Amazon, I'm gonna torch it, but the one from the Resin Queen, this is a little more pricey. Her molds are really good. I don't wanna burn it, so I'm gonna leave it be. There's, there's not any bubbles anyways, but if for some reason you needed to torch a really good mold get one of those long lighters like that you light I don't know a fireplace with or something you know those long stick lighters and then just go over the top lightly with it so that's part one of my video we made the two molds tomorrow we'll demold them and then put them in another mold to make the coaster and then we'll throw some seashells some starfish and we'll do the alcohol inks this is dirty from being up here some alcohol inks in there to get that burst of color going and that's it so i'll see you guys later hey guys so it's the next morning and um we are going to unmold these i have mixed up six ounces of resin because i know that these take three ounces each i've tried to do less and it just came out too thin I didn't like, I like it thick. I like the thickness of this, this is perfect. And it covers up <clears throat> the molds just how I want it. So let's see if I can get through this without any dogs barking or cats meowing. I have four dogs, three cats, it's ridiculous. Okay, so here's the mermaid tail. I did the gold with the green interference in the front. Let's see how it looks. Pretty. You can kind of see a shimmery green like scales. So I'm going to put this one here. And then this is my anchor and I did kind of the clown fish with the little hibiscus red. That's my anchor and I'm gonna put it here. And let me get my alcohol inks ready. And 
there goes my dog barking. Typical. Okay, and then I like to place a couple seashells. And those are not the seashells. These are my seashells. And I try to get the ones with the smaller holes. Um, if you get seashells with larger holes, it will float to the top. And I don't want to put too many. And I'm just picking a couple. And I'll post a link to the seashells. I don't want to overdo it. You can see on this one I didn't really, there we go, overdo it. Let me grab the starfish if I can find them. I didn't think about grabbing starfish. If they're within my area here. So let's put one here. Upside down though, because you want to see the front of it on the other side. And these need to be upside down. Sorry about that, guys. Because this is the bottom. This is the bottom, like this. And the top, you're going to want to see the front of it. So put it upside down like that. So one starfish there. And I'll put the links to these starfish too. One starfish there. And maybe one shell there. And I'm kind of flipping them upside down. Doesn't really matter with the shells. And then one of these, these are really pretty. There. Let me see if I can find another one. Yeah, I have molds in here too, it's crazy. Right there, that's it. All right, and then I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glitter in there. Um, this is Unicorn Tears by Southern Glitter Goddess, and I'll put the link for that. And I'm using my finger, and I'm just sprinkling the tiny, tiniest bit. It's iridescent, and it gives it a tiny little sparkle, and it's super pretty. All right, so now I'm going to pour my resin in. Six ounces, three for this one, three for that one. Okay. So I'm just gonna pour right on top. And you want to make sure you cover the top of that tail. I was telling you to try not and make the tail too thick. I'm loving that red anchor. Orangey red anchor. Now I talked about not using torches on good molds. This is not a very high quality mold. So it's not really good to torch on this one. It's better to use your lighter. Um, if you torch on this one, it kind of burns and sticks to the sides and then you'll break the mold when you're trying to pull it out. But since I'm using alcohol inks, I don't need to torch at all. We're just gonna keep the bubbles. There's not that many. And it's an ocean scene, so if a couple bubbles happen to slip in, it's not a big deal. And the alcohol inks are gonna cover it up anyways. 
and I'm just pushing down my starfish a little bit. If it floats up again, it's, it's okay, it's an ocean. My dogs are driving me crazy. It's raining outside, so they can't be outside right now. And they just wanna run free. All right, so now we're gonna do our alcohol inks. And um, these are pinata. And I'm going to use blue and green and white. Every time you drop a color, you need to drop a color of white. So I'm gonna do blue. And they're in these bottles because I buy large quantities of it in bigger bottles because I use so much I go through it. So then I just put it into these bottles. I get on Amazon and I'll provide the link for those. And these are the larger bottles. that I was talking about. So that's blue and white, and now I'm just gonna drop a couple colors of green, couple drops of green. And then white again. Always drop white after every color. And then blue again. and then white again. And then I'm gonna stop right there. And I'm gonna pull the camera down, give me a second. I got a new camera um, holder, it's from Archon. I'm gonna show you, hold on. I'm just letting you see the reaction that the alcohol inks are making. You can see it moving and reacting. So my camera mount, I kept having, I had this cheap camera mount and it had a clip on it and my camera, my phone kept falling down and it was crazy. So I got this new mount, it's from Archon. This holds your phone while you're filming and then these move so I can position it anywhere that I want. And then it holds your iPad down here in case you're doing a live so that you can, um, you know, comment, see who's commenting while you're filming. So I actually became a, an affiliate for them and there's a 20% discount, co discount code resin fanatics and it, in the description if you look at the bottom of the descriptions it's there the link in the code if you're interested in one of those it's pretty neat um it's pretty hefty you know strong so we're just gonna let these sit and i will be back in 12 hours so that we can unmold them and see what we got Thanks guys. Okay guys, so it has been nine hours and I'm super impatient and I think they're done enough to take them out. And I'm eating a pop si popsicle while I'm filling, filming because I'm a maniac. And my little dog's on my lap too. All right, so let's see. This is the mermaid. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Down, doggy. Down, Luna, you can't be a YouTube star. It's gorgeous. You see those unicorn tears? Just the tiniest bit. It just gives it the tiniest sparkle. So I say that this side would be the decoration. So if you had them down on your table, you'd leave them like this. And that 
you know, when you're not using them. And then if you flip it around, there's a little lip right here. And that would be the top of the coaster where you set your drink and the liquid would stay on the top of it. Some people like to put little bumpers on there, like felt like little round bumpers, but they're so pretty. I don't want to do that. So that's totally up to you, but it's super gorgeous. <laughs> that's my little doggie. Say hi, Nina. She wants to be in everything. And I'm just showing you the sun, the shine, the reflection. All right. Let's pull out my anchor with my custom mix of hibiscus red and clownfish and it is absolutely gorge. I love it. I love the little starfish. Some of the seashells kind of floated up a little bit and that's perfectly fine. It gives it, you know, some depth makes it look like they're in different spots, like an ocean. So, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And super easy. And um, like I said, I will leave the description the links to everything in the description box and um check out my facebook group resin fanatics we are doing a halloween fall swap we just finished up the summer swap and that's where we match up random partners and exchange resin gifts it's super fun and you can come there everybody's super nice we can ask questions to each other we support each other it's a great group so this is my older one and it's kind of dirty from being um, in my resin working area. But I think they're gorgeous. And um, again, I hope you guys liked my video. Please hit the like button, um, comment, let me know any other videos that you guys are interested in seeing. And I'll try to get that out for you. And um, any questions that you have, comment. I'm pretty good about answering back. I check my emails continuously. So thank you guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.